hey, I've had a lot of requests for guests on our show. And so I made a, a good decision. I, <laughs> I invited one of the most important names in our business that you don't know yet, but you will. Um, this is my good friend, Taylor Lewis, and Taylor and I are going to have some conversations. Uh, we're going to talk about easy strength today, but not just easy strength like, you know, you lift weights five days a week, but how easy strength, and this is going to sound like over the top, hyperbole, but how easy strength can change lives. So first, Taylor, give us who you are. Yeah, so I'm a strength coach. Um, I met Dan in 2012, sitting at a bar in Boston. The whole thing he talks about is showing up. I showed up for a, a conference that he was the keynote speaker. Didn't even know who he was at the time. I just heard about him. I wanted to actually go see Mike Boyle. And this guy just taps me on the shoulder and says, anyone sitting here? And then what, 10 years later, nine years later? Here we are. Here we are. Um, I'm a, I was a strength coach for uh, baseball players at a Division II college at Sonoma State for about five years and then went on my own and started working with uh, patients with cystic fibrosis along with major league athletes, baseball players in particular. And um, yeah, started doing research in CF and this is where we're at with Easy Strength. Yeah, so... There's going to be two things I want you to always remember, and this is this is really a big part of my career. So he's not going to tell you who he works with, but trust me, the, the baseball players he's worked with, even if you're, even if you're a, a non-American and you don't follow baseball, I guarantee you know, you probably know the, the names he's worked with. They're that famous. They're beyond sports famous. If something works for the elite athlete in performance, but it also works for a population with issues, uh, and that could be any kind of issues. Then I take that and I look at that and I, and, I, and I make this idea, and I think we're good with this. If it works for people with cystic fibrosis and it works with elite performance athletes, we can just stand back and say, this works. Yes. This, and that, that's not the most scientific thing. Uh, I was just telling him here a minute ago. My podcast is pretty much like chimpanzees at the <laughs> zoo throwing poop at people. <laughs> in fact, that's probably the best. That probably should be the name of the podcast. It should. It should. But we won't because well, we're too professional. <laughs> now, there's a couple things about Taylor he didn't mention. First off, that this weekend he discovered uh, drinking bourbon late into the night. Yes. And he also discovered waking up early in the morning the next day with, with no effects. Right? Yep. And when someone says, do you want to go to a Boston College, Boston University hockey game, what's the correct thing to say? Yes. Do you want to go watch the Super Bowl at Mike Boyle's house? Yes. And in another thing, he, he was, this is something that's very hard to get. In fact, I think it's the highest honor in strength and conditioning. Oh, that's right, yeah. You forgot. Would you tell people yeah. who you are? I am one of four. Very few. Four? Or it might be five now. Five Dan John black belts. Probably one of the best, you know, credentials I can have behind my name. And I have a few credentials behind my name. But um, the whole concept with the Dan John black belt is, A, you have to show up. You have to help an underserved community. And you have to make a difference in people's lives and stuff like that. And oh, Hold on. I don't, want to, I don't want to give away the whole thing. Okay. But those are the two big... Show up. Yep. Help those who need help. Yep. Make a difference. Well, do you want to tell them the, the, the penultimate moment? Then you're going to go and hang out in Disney World and you have to drink around the world. And there is some, you know, there's a criteria to finish. But I know we won't go into that because that's part of the, the you go of to mystery Epcot of it. And you go to, the, you go to the pavilions and yep. you have to drink around the world with me. Yep. There's other stuff involved. I'll just say this, uh, historically, the picture of Taylor successfully uh, achieving his black belt, he has his <laughs> <laughs> he has his baseball cap barely on. Let's just say this, and it's, and it's tilted this way, and he looks like he's just drank around the world. So let's... Well, it's cute because it was a Valentine's Day, too. Was it Valentine's Yeah, we did it on Valentine's Day. Oh, so I thought that was kind of sweet. You know, Dan was like, yeah, so you can be my Valentine. It's true. <laughs> true story.